Once we've imported the modules necessary for our sensors and then created the objects that we're going to use to communicate with the sensors, we need to write the actual code itself. We'll step through this code example here, which takes a fixed number of measurements, 10, from the sensor. As I mentioned previously, once I've created the sensor object, I can access the attributes of the sensor. In this case, it's a proximity and light measuring sensor, so I can get the proximity number using sensor.proximity, and I can get the light intensity by using sensor.lux. I've included this code for printing these two values inside a for loop that will execute 10 times. So this indented code block here will be repeated 10 times. And by adding a one second delay at the end of that indented code block, it'll wait one second between taking each of the 10 measurements. But what if we don't want the code to only execute 10 times? What if we want it to just keep reporting until we tell it to stop? Well, normally we don't want code to run forever. And so there is a Python code structure called a while loop. Unlike a for loop, where you specify the number of times you want the loop to execute, the while loop keeps running until a particular condition becomes false. So in this example, we start the count equal to one, and then each time the indented code block gets executed, the value of count gets increased by one. So eventually, the value of count will become greater than 10. So the while statement here causes the code block to be executed as long as the value of count is less than 10. In other words, if the condition count is less than 10 is true. However, once the condition count is less than 10 becomes false, which would happen when count becomes greater than 10, then the code block will stop executing. Let's try running this code to see how it works. If I execute the code, it performs the loop 10 times, increases the number each time, and then stops after the 10th time that it has done the code block. Sometimes though, if we want a sensor to run indefinitely, then we can accomplish this by hard coding the condition to true. So instead of checking to see whether count is less than 10 is true or not, we just simply hard code the value to be true. What that means is that the code that's in the indented code block will continue executing forever if it's hard coded as true. So let's try this in another example. I'm going to run the script which I have called appropriately infinity.py. Well, as you can see, it's already executed over a million times and it shows no signs of stopping. So how do we actually stop a script like this that goes on forever? The way to terminate an infinite loop is to use either control Z or control C. What that means is to hold down on the control key and then press either C or Z. When I do that, it has suspended the execution of the program after 9 million executions. In this version of the code.py script, I've used this strategy by simply hard coding the while statement with a value of true, which means that it'll keep reading the sensors until I press control C or control Z or in some other way cause it to stop executing. One additional feature that we can add to the code.py script is the ability to signal the script to begin collecting data with a button press. Otherwise, the code will start to execute as soon as you turn the board on or as soon as you save the code. And in some cases, especially if you are trying to collect data and save it on the memory, you don't really want it to be collecting data until you're ready for that to happen. It turns out that there is a button on the board 
which is described as the boot button, that is really a general purpose button that you can define for any use in your script. It does have a specific use during the installation of the operating system, but after that it's just a button. So we can refer to that as board.button, as shown here. Here's how we would use this in code. First, we need to import the module for digital input and output. And then we define an instance of a digital in-out object, which we are going to call button. And that button object is associated with the button on the board here. We then say that that button is going to operate in a certain way. It has a pull-up resistor. It has uh, operates on input. And once we've defined how that is going to behave, then we check the value of button.value. Button.value will return zero if the switch is open, that is, if it hasn't been pressed. Once it is pressed, then it gets grounded out, and that basically changes the value to false, which causes this while loop to stop executing and passes on the execution to the next line of code which would be to execute this for loop and take 10 measurements. Within the indented code block of this first while statement is this sort of unusual command called pass. This is a Python command that basically does nothing. It seems kind of silly to have a command that would do nothing, but in this case, that's actually what we want the script to do. We want it to do nothing until we press the button. So the way this code is set up the script will start running and then not collect any data until you press the button. Once you press the button, then it'll take 10 measurements and it'll end.